It's always fun when Lynn Archer from the Brass Compass Cafe and Archer's on the Pier in Rockland drops by the 207 Kitchen here at Old Main Studios because she likes to do things just like on the fly. Comes up with an idea a few hours earlier, boom, she's in the kitchen later in the day making something she has never made before. That's which right. Which is the case today, right? Today, yes. You woke up this morning and very shortly after you got up you had the idea for rhubarb barbecue sauce? Rhubarb barbecue sauce. Well, you know, it, it's a little different now in the 207 kitchen because for years we just did one segment at a time. And I don't know if many people know this, but now we do sometimes three, sometimes four. So I have to think about all the ingredients and what I'm actually making. So what I've done today is I had Bert with them. Thank you, Bert, for bringing me the beautiful red rhubarb. Um, I put something on Facebook saying I needed rhubarb and he delivered. He delivered to Brass Compass. So thank you, Bert. Um, I thought about something different because recently we've been getting lots of rhubarb. Yeah. So last week we had rhubarb martinis at Archer's and we the thing about rhubarb is it cooks really quick, it's very versatile, right. and you can do a lot of different things with it. Now we've gotten this going, you've already put in most of your ingredients. Most so you, everything. You started out by chopping up the rhubarb into you know, pieces. Nice about, dice pieces. About, mm -hmm. Excuse me, about that big. It's the rhubarb fumes. They're getting to me. <laughs> uh, and then what else uh, or roughly did you, we'll have the whole so, recipe of course on the website, but what else did you add? I used uh, about a quarter cup of good olive oil, some crushed red pepper, mm -hmm. some molasses, about a half a cup of molasses because you got to cut the tartness. Yep. Tartness. Yep. Some Dijon mustard. Okay. Some Worcestershire. Right. And then I just put it to cooking. So that's in there on what, medium heat? Medium heat. And how long does it take? It took maybe 15 minutes. And I'm going to imagine, because I've never done this before, <laughs> that the flavor will develop as you go along. So I cooked it, and instead of, I know that you could puree it, but instead I just look, let it cook on a lower temp and let it thicken on its own, which it did. How do you know when it's ready? Well, when it's cooked and it's thick, and you know, I actually did at home take a potato masher and just to make sure that it was kind of not big chunks, but rhubarb cooks down to a beautiful sauce. My grandmother always made rhubarb sauce and, and she'd put it on different... It's pretty versatile. You can use it in a lot of ways. She'd use it on angel food cake. We'd yeah. have a little rhubarb sauce. Nobody <laughs> got a lot of frosting back then. It was more about, you know. What came out of the garden? What came out of the garden. Yeah. And so I had decimated my patch. So this is, this is what I ended up with was this beautiful barbecue sauce. So on my way in. The next stop was to figure out, okay, what would. What am I going to put it on? What would pair well with the barbecue sauce? So I stopped right down on Commercial Street and I got some beautiful. Nice looking shrimp. Big shrimp. Yeah. And I thought, okay, I'm just going to saute them a little bit because they're already cooked. Yep. And I'm going to ladle a little of this beautiful barbecue sauce. And I like making up my own recipes. I know you do. I know you do. Who wants to do what everybody else does? That's, well, because nah. you've, you've done everything there is to do and you've well, done it no. all. Well, you've done a lot of it, and you've done it a thousand times. So, of course, this is what keeps cooking fun, is to try new things. It, and actually using old ingredients and making them into something new, In new is ways. my favorite thing to do. Yeah. I'd rather use some of the old school and adapt some new school to it. Well, you're going to have rhubarb in the garden next spring, so why yeah. not have a new way to prepare it? Why not? Now, I, if, if for people who are thinking about other possible things they can, they can use this sauce on, besides shrimp, certainly ideas? halibut. It's halibut season, and I've used it. Uh, I would use it on halibut. Any kind of a steak fish, yep. swordfish, yep. beautiful chicken, shrimp, why not? Okay. Why not? And then just bring it right up to a nice bubble. And then if you'd pass me that plate, please. There are some I'd say they're probably warm through. Fiddleheads. And... If there's anything easier than that, I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's Beautiful. a great looking dish. Why don't we put that right front and center so it can be properly admired. And the next step is to find the recipe for this. Go to our website, the 207 section. That's where you're going to find Lynn Archer's recipe for the barbecue, the rhubarb barbecue sauce. 
And once you've made that sauce, do what you wish. More information as well on Archers on the Pier and the Brass Compass Cafe, her two restaurants in Rockland. I love the look of that dish. The sky's the limit. Stay with us. Back with more of 207 right after this.